Hi, I'm Dan with Tilo Hilo Incorporated. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about the BWT, uh, specifically in a Himalaya, but this uh, would apply to any of our heaters that have a BWT device. And basically it's a simple uh, water vessel that is placed in between the heating elements of our heaters. And uh, it softly boils water as the heater is running. Now, the advantage to that over pouring water on the rocks is that it's going to keep a very consistent humidity in the room. And you can achieve about a 30 to 40 percent humidity with a BWT tank. And because of that, you're also able to lower the temperature on your heater. Um, if you're one of those that likes to have a 180 degrees in your sauna, uh, but you like a lot of humidity too, you can actually lower the temperature of your heater down to about 160, which, uh, it, you know, with the BWT, you're going to increase your humidity to 40%. And what we get there is the rule of 200. And often we'll talk about the rule of 200. And what that simply means is that the temperature and the humidity together should equal about 200 degrees. And that is a typical um, a finished sauna experience. Now you can adjust that up or down depending on your likes, but it's a good way to start. So in the Himalaya, uh, we have a 1.5 liter BWT tank. Now our Vena and Fonda heaters, they have a much smaller tank. They're only about uh, three quarters to one liter. Um, now you could fill that tank all the way up, although I would not recommend that uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, it's going to boil over. If you fill that tank too high, it will boil over and you're going to lose the, uh, the advantage of having it in there. Uh, number two, uh, it, if you don't use up all that water in your sauna session, that water is going to sit stagnant in there. And I personally like to have fresh water every time I use it. So we're going to put about uh, uh, three quarters of a liter in there. And that should be plenty to get us through uh, a 45 minute warm up session plus uh, we can run it another hour and, and get our humidity out of that. So what I've got here, uh, just a simple uh, mixing cup and we're going to pour it right in through the top of the, the BWT. There's a, a little diffuser on the top there and we just want to pour that water in. <clears throat> Now, if you wanted to add some scent to the water, you could do that at this time. Um, our BWT cup on the top has a space uh, that you can add some oils to, some birch oil, eucalyptus, whatever you like. You could put it in there. You can add it to the water if you want. Um, the problem with adding it to the water is it's going to stay, that, that aroma will stay in there. Um, is until you have flushed that tank out. So if you don't want that aroma, you'd have to boil the tank dry. Also, if you have the tank too full of water with an oil, it has a tendency to foam up. So use less water, add the scent to the water right away if you want, or put it in the top. It's all personal preference. Um, again, I'm putting the water in now before I heat the heater up simply because I want to avoid any steam burns. Um, if you add water uh, during a heating cycle, you want to be very careful. Maybe use something with uh, like a watering can that has a long neck on it so that you aren't putting your hand or face directly over the heater and uh, having that chance of a steam burn. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is uh, it's becoming very popular to use Himalayan salt. Um, in, in a sauna experience and this is a great way to use it and in this case all we have to do set it right on top of the rock grate um, and we'll turn our heater on now and uh, let it warm up. Okay we've got our uh, BWT filled up with water on our Himalaya heater now we're going to set the controls for uh, a great sauna experience we're going to try to hit that rule of 200 so first thing I'm going to do is come in here. I'm going to turn my light on on my uh, control system here. And you can see uh, 
on the very lower left corner here we have an icon that looks like a thermometer and it is illuminated right now and that is our temperature and it just gives us a scale of 1 through 10 with 1 being the lowest 10 is the highest at 10 we'd be running about 194 degrees at the ceiling I don't want it that hot for BWT uh, 6 or 7 is going to be plenty so we're going to start at 7 and uh, you know, it should get us right around 160 Fahrenheit in there. And I want to double check. I have no time delay. I'm set for a full hour of run. And we are ready to go.